Metal Slug X. You liked Metal Slug 1, right? Run and gun craziness with gorgeous animation and music. Who doesn't love that? I mean, it's it's great. Well, then you might have played Metal Slug 2 and thought, this is great, but boy, is it just too slow. Just way too many intense amounts of animation on screen at once, causing a lot of chugging. So forget Metal Slug 2, you should try Metal Slug X, which is almost identical to 2, but without the slowdown and highly remixed in terms of content. And I mean, it's just a vastly cooler name. Who doesn't love X, right, you know? I guess one could confuse it as Metal Slug 10, with X being the Roman numeral for 10, but it's not. I think it's called X because, well, honestly, I don't know why, but I bet it's just because it sounds cool. And honestly, that's enough reason for me. Better than Metal Slug 2, but better, or Metal Slug 2, again. Released in 1999, it attempted to right the technical wrongs of 2, using the updated game engine from Metal Slug 3. How nice of SNK, knowing that arcade goers would definitely want to play through the game and spend on playthroughs if it wasn't slowing down to the point of being a PowerPoint presentation. Yes, in a time before huge overhaul patches that could be downloaded from online networks, SNK had to just release a whole new product to sort out the issues with Metal Slug 2. Okay. And I'm glad they did, because Metal Slug X is pretty awesome and more than worth checking out. It's initially pretty unassuming too, just seeming like a bare-bones sequel to what came before. But nope, there's zombies and aliens in this one. And also, a lot of Independence Day references. You know, for some reason. I'm not the biggest fan of that movie, but you know, I... It's got some cool visuals, so yeah, nice touch. There's even some pretty cool new weapons, some that look like they're straight out of Looney Tunes, and others that are just giant metal death balls just bouncing towards their victims. All the great classic guns that you love from Metal Slug are here, but you know, way more laser gun, way more new stuff, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of craziness. In terms of vehicles for this game, forget about the actual metal slug tanks. You've got a camel in this game. Need I say more? Of course, we also can't forget that there's female characters now that are playable. So that's nice for giving players more choice in their character. Not that it really matters, since you're just gonna end up dying brutally, all the same. Hey, being a one-man or one-woman army against an entire military, battle cruiser, submarine, and giant plane will probably mean there's gonna be some scratches along the way, and death. Especially nearing the last minute of the game, the difficulty really picks up. There are some new gameplay gimmicks to cover, but for the most part, this is Metal Slug, with, you know, evil magical mummies and an unholy alliance between extraterrestrial invaders and the enemy military forces. So, you know, a few add-ons. Beyond wacky aesthetics though, there isn't too much more that these crazy situations add. In the levels set in Egypt, you can turn into a mummy temporarily if you're hit with enemy magic. And it sucks, so I really recommend avoiding those attacks, if possible. Seriously, you can't upgrade your weapons, and jumping just sucks. Another important new form is the, uh, the quote-unquote fat form, which makes you balloon into a walking death spreader. In Metal Slug 2, you could only become fat in level 4, but in X, you can supersize yourself at any level in the game. And my god, is the death animation in this form simply horrifying. There is just so much wrong with this. Why? Why did... <laughs> Why? 
Though it is kind of fun to kind of just romp around and just destroy everything that's in front of you. In Metal Slug X, you have a different boss for the first mission, and overall just have more enemies to deal with throughout the game, and some being wholly different enemies too, and even placed differently throughout the levels themselves. There is a lot of smaller differences to note, but honestly, I don't know how much of that is worth covering. All you really have to know is that if you have the choice between Metal Slug 2 and Metal Slug X, just go with X. It's great in single player or two player. Of course, multiplayer is always recommended though. As of recording, it's got a strong case for being my favorite Metal Slug. It's highly enjoyable and very replayable. It's more bombastic, more genuinely bizarre, and more importantly, better optimized. Independence Day cinematic homages and all. So go ahead, give it a try. Again though, don't catch that mummy curse in the Egypt level. Seriously, don't do it. It sucks. Okay. 